beautiful priestess of Athena. According to stories, there was a time when Medusa was considered one of the most beautiful women of ancient Greece. Her beauty was legendary, and men constantly gravitated towards her. During this time, she was also a priestess of the goddess of war, Athena. However, because she was a priestess, she was not allowed to marry any of her male lovers. To remain devoted to the goddess he had to remain unmarried. Since Athena was portrayed as a virgin goddess, the same was to be true of her priestesses. Her followers were also required to remain virgins so that they could devote all their energy to serving the goddess without worrying about their husbands and children. Medusa caught the eye of Poseidon. Medusa's many lovers were content to merely admire her beauty from a distance. Since she had sworn to serve Athena, she was considered off-limits to the men who pursued her. However, everything changed when she came into the sight of Poseidon. Instead of respecting the fact that Medusa had sworn an oath of chastity in the service of Athena, Poseidon, god of the sea, he raped her. Now that she has been raped, she can no longer serve Athena. The worst thing is that she is not worthy of accepting any of her lovers, Athena cursed Medusa. So how did Medusa become a monster? This happens shortly after Poseidon destroys it. When Athena found out what had happened, she cursed Medusa. His transformation began shortly thereafter. The myths depict his transformation into a monster as incredibly painful. She tore at her flesh and screamed as she was transformed from a beautiful maiden with smooth, youthful skin into a monster whose flesh had cracked and dried up. Her hair, once smooth and silky, has turned into poisonous snakes. To make matters worse, everyone who sees Medusa will be turned to stone forever Medusa has been exiled. Medusa is banished. After her transformation was complete, Medusa was further cursed to spend the rest of her days in isolation. Athena banished her to a remote island where she would no longer have contact with the outside world. Her tale doesn't end with her banishment, however. Now, men no longer sought her out because they wanted to bask in her beauty. They pursued her for a different purpose, to kill her.